Hey, hi everybody. Uh, welcome back to another week of Agents of Mayhem. Uh, talking about agents, talking about gameplay, all that good stuff. Uh, we are here uh, this... Oh yeah, people in the chat noticed uh, <laughs> I'm not alone this week, hooray. Mm -hmm. I was all by myself last yeah, week because E3 happened and it was really empty here. Oh boy. Uh, but yeah, hi. I'm Josh Stinson. Uh, I'm the video editor here at Volition, as well as the stream host. Uh, today on the couch we have... I'm James Katzian. I'm a systems designer here. I'm Mike Jungluth, lead animator. Matt Anton, senior writer. And then over... <laughs> oh yeah, your names are... <laughs> yeah. And then uh, um, over Skype we have... Sharice Booth. I voiced Braddock. Hey! So yeah, we're talking about Braddock this week. Uh, you know, going over her concept art, all the pre-production stuff first. Uh, after that, we'll uh, go full screen, chat with Sharice for a little bit, talk about her work uh, voicing Braddock, uh, and then we'll jump into actually playing through some of Braddock's own missions, uh, both her unlock and her personal, and then uh, we'll uh, wrap it up by looking at some bugs, some Braddock bugs, some just normal random bugs in the game. Um, Oh, and also, before I forget, I've been missing this last couple weeks. I say at the end, but not at the beginning. We also have Mike Watts, there, a community developer, moderating the chat. Thank you, Mike! Um, yeah, I guess uh, we should just jump straight into some production stuff here. Uh, or pre-production. Whoop! So, yeah, we've got a decent amount of uh, images for Braddock all the way from, you know, when people were still uh, working on exactly what type of character she was going to be. Were any of you involved with Braddock? You were there from yeah. like basically the beginning with her? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it was, uh, you know, we knew we liked the idea of having that uh, strong drill sergeant sort of character. Um, we really liked the idea of having uh, having it be a woman and then just having like that like tough as nails, uh, you know, sort of like shit brick house badass. And, uh, and so... Uh, Looking at, you can see the concept here, right? It was, you know, how much of the, uh, what elements do we want to play with, right? Do we want to give her a hat that's more like the fatigues? Do we want to give it more of like a military officer? Do we want to go, like, if you look at E, with a, a little bit more of like a drill sergeant with a, you know, with a, you know, a combat hat? Like, all the different ways that we could start to start to play with, with these elements. Um, and also, you know, we knew we wanted her to also have a rifle um, and, and really hit on that. So... Uh, a lot of those are, are, are hitting on, on those themes of how much military do we want, but obviously, like, she's supposed to be generations long of, of being Marines, right? Like, right. it's in her DNA that, like, everyone in her family for generations has been, has been a Marine. So um, really, really making sure that that was what came through was important. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so, man, I really like some of these. Yeah, uh, those are cool. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's a lot of cool, like early versions of a lot of our agents that like don't really match what our game looks like now but they're still pretty oh, cool wow. mm -hmm. yeah what i like about these is this is where you can start to see the cigar come in um that was one of those things yeah. where we were like yeah having her just always have that cigar uh felt like it would be really important so a lot of these are concepts before we'd even necessarily to uh, figured out what uh agent tech would look like right um and sort of what what a, uh, a mayhem armor and, and things like that would sort of would sort of be. So you kind of see some just sort of really early investigations of of how that all comes together. Yeah, some more polished versions of those as well. Sharice, um, how much of this stuff did you really see when you first started doing the voice for Braddock? Like, how much do they show you of her character? Uh, when I first started doing the voice of Braddock, they actually showed me where she ended up. So okay. where the audience is going to meet her is how I met her. And they showed me her introduction. Right. And they also showed me some still, um, still photography of, of what she is, okay. renderings of what she is. Um, just freaking tough badass <laughs> that cigar is great yeah oh yeah and she's just ultra fit and strong and yeah you don't want to cross her <laughs> she's got some pretty big biceps 
<laughs> yeah, she's pure muscle. She's yeah. awesome. I love her so much. Uh, this is the one where I think you can finally start to see like it's it's getting pretty close to uh, to how she started to to look in game, um, and uh, yeah, I love it. Right, like uh, even played with some ideas of tattoos there, like full arm uh, tattoos that uh, ended up not going with right because we wanted like. The cool thing about her is like we want her to feel like that sort of like clean cut by the books when you when you look at her and that was something we always kind of were were visually trying to make like how do we make her like we want to make a character that looks iconic and interesting but she you know she she lives her life by like by the marine like handbook right like she 100 percent believes in 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 that uh, sort of rule set so uh, you know didn't want that to go too far as well as Balancing her against Daisy started to be something we had a lot of conversations okay. about because yeah. oh. Daisy's also that just big cut badass and so there was some talk early on it was like well how you know were Daisy and Braddock going to be on the same rig because then they would both be the same height and they were like well if we if we make Braddock shorter then they start to push each other apart visually um, so you can still have two like super super uh, you know cut um, Jack Blades without it maybe getting confusing or starting to feel like are their their imagery starting to overlap some right mm. and yeah like right here is when it gets pretty close to like what her her final imagery is yeah um mm. yeah yeah th there's actually something uh, a bit of art we have later on uh because you know you're talking about the you know she's like really in shape really built that reminds me that uh, we received some. Oh yeah, here's a. Before we get to that, this is our uh, our, our sheets kind of detailing everything about the agent. And I this in the upper left is like a completely different illustration for Brad from any other piece of art I've ever found. Yeah, that was like that was. I don't want to say it was like really old, but it was yeah. There was that was also when we were still trying to figure out what the style was and yeah, and uh, we're kind of playing around with some different things. But I mean, like elements that were always there was you know pretty early we realized we liked the fatigue uh, style hat, we liked the combat boots, um, we liked the tank top. So those were those were elements that you can see pretty early on. We're like, no, these feel right, right. Um, for her. Um. Back when she was war child, war child. Yeah. War right? Child, war yes, child. that that was. Was that like an actual like working name, or was it more like a code name for like what the eight just code name for the code name? Yeah, code, code name, name for, for the code name. <laughs> I don't know. I believe we played around with war child for a while and realized that she didn't need a code name. Right. You no, know, she's just Braddock. Right. Um, That's her last name, right? Yes. Her yep. name's Janelle Braddock. Janelle Braddock. Um, but yeah, there, there's a bit of art we have coming up pretty soon. Oh yeah, some early renders too. Um, it's not this one, but I believe it's the the next one we have here. Was like, yeah, this face is a little different from what we went up with, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Again, this would have been uh, you know pretty early on looking at it, going, well, this isn't quite quite in style um also with with the hair like we played around with some of that those that longer hair but again like thinking back to the military roots you know she'd keep right. it she'd keep it pretty short um and so uh so a lot of that got I moved out yeah the uh yeah here we go here's some pretty much final ones for braddock here yeah so now we're getting we're getting pretty close you're seeing uh all the all the right elements coming into play one thing you'll notice that she doesn't have here is um uh, she doesn't have her knife yet. Nope. The, her right. using the knife and sort of always having the knife out in combat was something that um, it wasn't until we started kind of getting her in game and realizing we, we still wanted one more sort of element to help uh, bring her about that she still kind of had that big old ammo satchel on her uh, on her belt there. Yeah, I remember that there's you know there was just one week. I don't even remember how long ago anymore. It just kind of blends together now, uh, but. I just remember like downloading the build and like somebody posted a screenshot on our like internal forums going like I just made Braddock carry a knife at all times now. Yeah. And I was like, oh, this is a huge improvement for some reason. It just like felt a lot better. Anytime she's doing anything, just always like just running with this knife. It's yeah. a sweet knife too. It's it's, it's a big giant. Knife. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was cool too. It kind of allowed us like she sort of became like our Rambo then. Yeah. Uh, mm. At that point too, which was which was really cool that uh, it, it helped to sort of sell this nice contrast that we were trying to go with and where 
when she's out of combat, she's very by the books, and she's, you know, we had one of the people from one of our QA testers, uh, she was in the Marines, so it was awesome, because she would always call me out if my, like, posing was wrong or something <laughs> really? was yeah. line because she was she was like this isn't this is not like stand like I had like doing a salute with the gun she's like that's not that's not oh, right wow. like so it was it was awesome. it was really cool so out of combat you know she's always standing very very proper and then we had it once she goes into combat and she pulls out that knife getting it a little bit more uh, you know it, it helped to kind of make it feel a little bit more like she goes into that Rambo mode versus right. then kind of coming out of it uh, kind of back into into it so you can kind of help to to sell that that feeling. Yeah. Um, yeah, so what, what I was about to bring up a little bit earlier is uh, specifically this one is uh, uh, concept art sent to us from Powerhouse, the people who did our, our 2D cartoon intros for us. Uh, and yeah, this was uh, a fee uh, feedback that we sent them because it's like we saw what Braddock looked like in the actual intro. Like she wasn't like jacked enough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like it was just yeah. like wind her out in general. Like, uh, but yeah, we, we got a ton of stuff for, for her intro, which actually, uh, when we hop into gameplay a little bit later in the stream, we'll just, we'll just see that entire thing. Cool. Yeah. Nice. I like hers. Um, yeah, there's, uh, concept art for, uh, this dude who, I'll just say he's an asshole. Yeah, he's not great. Not <laughs> he's a great not great. Guy. We'll, we'll see a decent amount of him this stream, actually. Yeah. Um. yeah, there we go. So that was when she had, uh, at one point we had her, uh, she kind of had that, uh, like a, an LMG, right? Yeah. Um, and uh, it was cool having her run around with this big, giant gun. But then, and, and James can talk about it with her design kit, um, once it st uh, sort of became a thing where she was uh, sort of toggling these extra things with her gun, uh, where it could be like, you know, rail or explosive bullets or, or whatever, um, it seemed like that was a little almost too literal of a gun mm. uh, to use. So then, you know, we did a we did the change where she's got more of sort of that energy rifle that can sort of fit whatever these uh, changes are. Um, but yeah, it was it was cool. I still really like that gun a lot. Yeah, and we there she is. Yeah, yep. up to some uh, some final official art key art for for Braddock as well. That's a cool image. Yeah. yeah, I like I really like the poses. Ha. Yeah. Pe people have gotten for her. Um, yeah, that is our uh, some of the uh, pre-production concept art stuff for for Braddock. Uh, before we hop into the game and, and take a look at her missions, let's actually switch over to Sharice here in just a second. Hey, hello. There you are. Hello. Hello. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, one thing I heard, because I, I talked to a lot of the, the audio guys who work with all the, the voice actors and stuff, uh, I heard that out of all the voice actors, you were the uh, single one who actually tried out for uh, the character, like, face-to-face, -face, apparently? Mm -hmm. What was yeah, that like? Yeah, uh, who was telling me? I think it was Amanda Wyatt, the director, uh, who was saying that... Um, or actually it was probably Larry who does audio design and composing. Yeah. Um, Larry Gates II. He was saying that they happened to be in town and they were uh, working and they needed to cast Braddock. They still needed to cast Braddock. And uh, they said, well, while we're here, let's just do it live. And I, I didn't realize that most of the time mm -hmm. They call the agent, the agent submits, the agent has the actor come in and, and do the voice over there, and then they submit it. Uh, so yeah, it was great to do it live, and it was great to, to be in that room with, uh, with Jeff uh, Bolowski, who is the, one of the writers, and, and Larry and Amanda. How, so like, I don't really know how this works for voice actors, so like, you auditioned and like, how quickly do you know if you get the part? Gosh, I'm trying <laughs> to remember how quickly I found out because it, even though it hasn't been a long time, it feels like I've been with Braddock for a long time. Right. Um, I I honestly can't remember. I feel like it was when within a couple of weeks. Okay. That I that I found out, and um, and. Uh, I had done 
a video game prior to this, and I think one of the directors on that video game gave my name to Amanda. Okay. And so that was one of the reasons why I was brought in uh, to audition. Okay. What game was that that you were working on previously? If you can say. I don't know if it's... Oh, Evolve. Oh, oh really? Cool. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Nice. Yeah. 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 Okay, neat. Um, yeah, that was that was fun. <laughs> this video game world is really <laughs> new to me, and okay. so even though I've already worked on one, I'm still, I don't know. I think I'm I, I'm still getting my sea legs. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah, because I was gonna. How long have you been doing voice acting, like separate from just video games? Uh, voice acting, so I graduated from NYU grad acting in 2002, and I started my first professional voiceover job probably within a couple of years of that. Okay. So by 2004, I started doing voiceover for commercials mm -hmm. and radio, uh, on-camera commercials and radio, and then in about 2004, I also started doing audiobooks, so I do that as well. Oh, okay. Sweet. And Randomly, I got an, a voiceover on an animated film, uh, and uh, and then I most of my stuff is with audiobooks okay. nowadays. Is it like the the is it like the Amazon audiobooks, or is it like one specific place you go to? Uh, I tend to work out of uh, now that I live in LA, Dion Audio. Oh, okay. And, uh, I when place. I was in New York, I worked uh, out of the studio with recorded books. That's where I started. Okay. Huh. And I still work with recorded books, but I, I uh, now that I've relocated from New York to LA, mm -hmm. I tend to do stuff in studio at Dion Audio. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so when you were voicing Braddock, had you ever had to do voice a character kind of like her in tone at all? Like somebody who's like really tough? I, I did some soldier work as mm -hmm. an audition for Evolve, okay. and then I ended up um, uh, doing a character, and that character was was pretty tough. Okay. Um, Braddock, I don't know. Braddock, <laughs> Braddock was was tough in a way that I wasn't used to. I feel like she was tougher and <laughs> she has some colorful language <laughs> and it was so much fun to do her and Dutch, the uh, sound engineer for our sessions, would always get a kick out of me coming into the session because I would come in with my wraparound soft scarf and then, <laughs> her, and then I'd latte. have a great scarf around my neck. And then I stand there, and then I get into Braddock, and I'd have to do these lines where I'm like saying all this harsh stuff, and and she's tough as nails, yeah. um, so you can't pussyfoot around her. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm curious, did you ever have to like hold a prop or something, or pose in a certain way to get into her persona? Because I've heard of voice actors and actresses like they want to feel powerful or something, they'll hold like a Nerf gun or something like that to, to channel that. Is that ever something you I, did? I didn't hold anything, but I definitely held my body in uh -huh. a particular stance. Sure. And, um, and definitely, you know, tried to use my body <laughs> in a way that didn't cause any extra noise. You know, <laughs> right. You can't yeah. make extra noise. So, um, I definitely had to put her in my body when I was doing her. Right. Yeah. And like even Dutch would be like, your face, it gets like, <laughs> like you're, it's like, whoa, like so much stuff happens with your face. I'm like, oh my gosh, she's going in, she's going in. It's cool because even when you talk about her now, like you can see these like micro expressions of it, like yeah. coming in as you're remembering her, which is awesome. Because I mean, even <laughs> her voice is like yours, so it's, it's really interesting to kind of hear how you get into character because obviously like as, as animation we spend a lot of time trying to figure out okay how do we get into the character and when we work with the mocap actors it's how do we get them into character so it's 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 cool to see like some of those same faces that i remember our, our actress is hitting also like you're hitting it was like all right cool yeah <laughs> yeah yeah because you you kind of you have to get yourself involved 
so that it reflects in the voice. Yeah. Uh, your body involved yeah. and, uh, you know, by any means necessary. So sometimes I probably look like a fool up in there, but, <laughs> you know, <laughs> if it's good for Amanda, you know, then it's yeah. great. Yeah. It's being recorded, not filmed. So it doesn't matter. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was, I was actually curious to ask you that question about what it was like to, to voice someone so tough because, like, you know, I have... This this notepad here with like lots of notes from the audio people just tell me like oh here might be might be something interesting to ask the voice actors and like the first bullet point for Braddock is just Braddock's VA is very nice. <laughs> so it's like oh okay I have to ask her how she managed to voice Braddock then. <laughs> yeah 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 Dutch yeah Dutch would joke around all all the time about it because every time he would look up and see me in Braddock's voice and my face was doing crazy stuff. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, so when you were recording, are there any, like, specific lines that really stand out as something that, like... Um, okay, so I have a few lines for you guys. Uh -huh. Oh, uh, sweet. <laughs> awesome. You can't be I paid. don't have my team behind me, you know, <laughs> Amanda coaching me, so I'll sure. do what I can remember. Oh, awesome. <laughs> um, um, all right, let's see, one of these. I'm looking for a manscaped piece of shit named August Gump. Where is he? Yes. <laughs> oh, God. It's like looking into a leprechaun's asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Hauser! I'm gonna come down on you like 20 gallons of liquid shit. Yeah, I love that one. Phase two. I ain't done with phase one, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That was so good. That was amazing. Uh, I wish I wish wow. I had that for facial reference for animator. That yeah. was so good. Yeah. You're so right about your face. You look so intense. <laughs> That's that's exactly what Dutch would be like. Oh like my he God. kind of was kind of like not afraid of me, but he would be like it gets so intense in there, you know? um, it, it comes through. It totally does. Yeah, it's great. It's great. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. And uh, it's funny, though, because I think of Braddock, and I see her artwork, and there's something about her in my imagination, because I haven't really seen her uh, in a lot of action from, from what I've been shown. But you know how just tough people it just comes off easy, you know what I mean yeah. it's just it's just in them and it just flows out just with such ease and so I imagine that to be with Braddock but for Sharice it's like come on yeah. Yeah. get the book you know? I have to churn myself up to get to, to where she is you know nice. but I'm sure there are some of my facial expressions that would that may be fun for her when she gets in pretty intense moments yeah. in the game, you know? Yeah, that would, that would definitely be, like, how she's in combat. And then everything out of combat is all of her, like, standing around fidgets or, like, taking out her cigar and kind of puffing on it and being that. really kind of casual. Like, you know, she's, she's you know, she's, you know, at casual attention, right? But, you know, it's yes yeah, in blowing some smoke rings and just kind of, you know, enjoying it. But, yeah, that it's into combat, pulls out that knife and gets that, that same sort of focus and intensity that you have, which is awesome. Do you ever sm oh, smoke, you ever smoke a cigar to get into the character? <laughs> no, no, I haven't, you know, I mean, like, you know, some of the lines that had her swagger, I had to just be like, you know, <laughs> just take in the room and just, just, I don't know, just have swag. You know, like, <laughs> imagine she would, and, um, and a sense of just innate power and toughness that's just, like, she doesn't have to push at all. Like, she just is. <laughs> and so trying to embody that and yeah. how I say those lines where she is at ease, at attention, but at mm -hmm. ease, you know, um, she has this kind of, um, it's almost like a tautness of just she's pure muscle. And so when she's at ease, she still has this, like, stance where, mm -hmm. you know, at any moment, <laughs> you know, you try to pull one on her, she'll, she'll lay you down on the ground. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you definitely get that in the animation, too, for sure. Yeah. And what's nice, too, is, right, because, and I think it works really well in that, 
you know, you're really nice normally, right? Like when you're not, yeah. when you're not writing that. Uh, of our characters, I'd say she's like, she is the most lawful, right? Like she sees things in a very black and white yep. sort of way. So like, you know, having, I think that sort of honesty sort of coming through in that, that good heart there on that side, you know, helps to, helps to balance that. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that is true. Yeah, and I, I appreciate that about her. You know, mm -hmm. it's nice that she has that sense of integrity yeah. about her that, through whatever happens, stands true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, actually, I had a question for you real quick, because you're, you're mentioning that, like, uh, when she was saying some of her lines there, that, that would have been really good facial, uh, uh, like, reference for animation. Have you ever used the voice, the voice actors, like, for, for facial reference? We didn't, because we would be at different, like, okay. different points. Like, on some characters, I think, uh, I think some of, like, you might have done a lot of her VO before I even started animating her. Mm. She was she was one of the last characters that sort of came online because I'd, I'd already animated a, uh, Fortune and Hardtack before her. So none of that stuff was necessarily synced up um, to do that. But it, it's definitely something that, like, especially now after doing all of these these uh, streams where it's like we need to figure out how to get some additional reference of, of the lines and stuff because uh, it's, it's certainly uh, really, really helpful when we're coming up with these unique expressions for the characters to already have a whole gamut of them would be great. Right. Yeah, and even in my sessions, since the timing was that I did a lot of VO before you started animating her, if there was a way to do motion capture of my face during those sessions, yeah. I mean, I'm not exactly sure how it's done because I've never done motion capture. Yeah. Uh, but it, it, it could have, yeah, it could have... Uh, been there for you. Yeah, there's a whole lot of different things you can do between capturing it or even like, you know, everything we did was, uh, you know, we'd find expressions and then we'd hand key them to get like, so we could push them, right? So it's a lot more of like a Disney style versus, you know, getting that, you know, subtlety of the performance stuff there, right? So it's, it's what fits for the game and the characters and sort of all that stuff. But even just general footage of somebody saying oh, okay. these lines and emoting while they're doing it, we can we can be like, oh, that's the screenshot, and, and hit that expression. Or something. Very cool, right. yeah. Yeah, um, let's see, I was just scanning the chat for any questions, but if they were there, they already went away because the chat's going by a little quick at times. Um, but yeah, chat, if you have any more questions uh, for Sharice, I can try and field those while we're, even later on, while we're playing the game or whatever. Um, but yeah, so overall, what, what did you think of your time of just voicing Braddock? It was like... <laughs> it was like I got to vicariously live through this fantasy of being a badass. Not only just how I carry myself, but like in battle on the field and in my orders and commands to people under me, or even having um, relationships with the other agents. Um, uh, like a playful relationships in terms of like uh, kind of uh, just tough kind of ribbing of yeah, the other yeah. agents yeah. And, and that kind of playfulness um, but through my voice <laughs> you know mm -hmm. like I had to vic I vicariously lived that life through my voice and so that was just a lot of fun I actually I'm looking forward to the time where I can do that in body as well, mm -hmm. you know, where I can actually physically be that badass. <laughs> but Braddock is great, and uh, I, I'm actually very endeared to her, um, partially, be, partially because of what um, you said, Matt, about her integrity, and I can always stand behind her, you know. Um, on whatever mission she's going on, and I'm always rooting for her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it was fun. It was fun. And also just like, am I really saying these lines? Is this really coming out of my mouth? <laughs> I'm coming down on you like liquid shit. Yeah, you don't usually <laughs> say that. <laughs> you say it, though. <laughs> exactly. So that was a lot of fun, a lot of fun. And it was a great group in the room, um, you know, contextualizing everything for me and guiding me through the whole process. Um, really loved working with Amanda, Jeff, and Larry, and Dutch. Yeah. 
Um, I guess one final question before we uh, move on to the game. Uh, is this the first time... So you're mentioning like some of the crazy lines you've had to say. Is this the first time you've ever had to say stuff like that for a VO role? I would say <laughs> this level of intensity, yes. Yeah, <laughs> like some... I mean, I feel like there are other lines in there that will tickle the game players because I just remember Lillary having to stop and be like, Okay, all right, I'm going to say that. All right, let's go. <laughs> and Amanda and and Larry and Jeff would be giggling on the other side of the booth. And, you know, Jeff was one of the writers. Like, he knows these lines. <laughs> and still hearing them out loud, it's like, it, it was pretty wild. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That added, but that added to, like, the fun of it, you know? Yeah. Who wants to... Who doesn't want to go to these extremes and like, you know, and the game and even just seeing the artwork of the game, it's just, it's like wild and flashy and, and just, it's, it seems like so much fun and there's so much humor um, in a lot of the, the lines that I say and a lot of the situations. Of, so, I mean, I know I can't say too much, but right. it's, it's, it's a lot of fun all around. So. All right. Cool. Um, so yeah, I suppose um, we should actually take a look at what Braddock's like in game, uh, both gameplay wise. Let's do it. Can't wait. Yeah, so you can you you can finally see what she looks like. So you yes. haven't you haven't seen <laughs> you haven't seen any gameplay footage yet of, of Braddock? Uh, no. Most of oh, wow. it has been. I think the other there are other four other agents that I think probably start the game, mm -hmm. or it seems as though they start the game, and yeah, I've seen with some three, yeah. some combat with them. Okay. But I'm waiting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, briefly, let me uh, get set up here, and then we'll uh, quickly switch over uh, and do some uh, some Braddock stuff. So yeah, thanks for for answering all those questions and stuff. That was, oh, my pleasure. The, the, I'm happy to to now be in the video game family. <laughs> I'm still a newbie, but I'm happy to be here. Nice. Well, I, I hope you come up in more in more games because I, I really enjoy like. Like everybody's, I think everybody does like a pretty great job voice acting this game. But like yeah. Radix was like one of the standouts yeah. for me personally. I just, Thank I, you. I thought her personality came out That's like really, really well. So yeah, I hope I can yeah. see you in more games soon. Yeah. I, I haven't actually played Evolve, but maybe I'll actually just. Yeah. I don't. Know. I do one other quick aside, like because now this is the first time with these streams I have personally like met and talked to voice actors. So now it's just like if I hear them, is I'm I, I do the thing where I play this game and just going like trying to guess which voice actor it is just because I've heard them uh, enough now so mm -hmm. now it's like now I'm going to have to start trying to see if it can spot you and stuff yeah I could have oh, sworn okay. I heard Hardtack's voice actor voice in another game that I was playing okay. I've heard these voices so much I feel like I can sort of recognize the same things God yeah. of War perhaps uh, no it wasn't God of War <laughs> I thought he was I, it sounded like he was someone in, in Bioshock Infinite but I could be wrong. Mm. Oh no, I'd Pierce to... is in Bioshock Infinite. Oh really? Arif is in... Yeah, he oh, plays he like a minor, like a just like, like a random. Huh. Character yeah, I think that yeah, that yeah, might have yeah. been what I oh, heard. Wow. <laughs> Man, it's like that sounds so familiar. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, thank you for answering all those questions. Oh, um, my pleasure. Yeah, let's go uh, switch over to this game now and and see what Braddock's all about. Let's double check. We got some. Uh... All right, got some good audio here. All right, so... Um, it's not Braddock. This is not Braddock yet. <laughs> so somebody was actually asking the chat just a few minutes ago. Um, they were asking, how do you get agents in the game? Mm -hmm. Because you don't... We have, uh, you know, in, in the base game, there are 12 playable agents. Uh, but you don't start out with all of them from the get-go. After the, the intro, you have your first squad of three agents. Um, so you unlock uh, the additional agents through uh, these uh, missions where, you know, you have to do some stuff, then you uh, are introduced to that agent and you play as just them for the entire mission. It's focused on who they are and how they play. Um, and then uh, they, they will also later have uh, personal missions that just furthers their own story and all that. So uh, this is the unlock mission. Um, I guess first, before we talk about how she works, um, or, or additionally more of her story or her animation, um, we'll uh, start this, which will actually we'll take a look at her entire uh, 
2D intro cutscene. Every agent has one of these for their, their uh, uh, unlock missions. And then, yeah, we'll go from there. Trust. That's all I ever asked for. All I ever wanted. From anyone. That's how the world works. We have to trust each other. Things break when trust is lost. My whole family has served this country. From the big split to Desert Storm. America is in my blood. I trusted America. I trusted the core. I'm gonna hunt down every last one of those motherfuckers I trained. Everybody I put into Legion's hands. I'm gonna make Legion pay. And you can trust me on that. Janelle, we've received intelligence that some of your old recruits are here in Seoul. They're with Legion now. Of course. Motherfuckers. I've put one of them, Vasquez, on your map. I think they're up to something, so, um... Stay frosty! <laughs> sure, Steph, sure. Just call me the snowman. <laughs> Hiya, snowman. This is, uh, getting close on this, and you'll see she... Oh, he, she does a smoke oh, ring. I'm sorry. Thing. Oh, there's still some, uh, audio happening here. Oh, you're real soldiers now. That's new. Ah, there's that trademark sense of humor we all recall so fondly from boot camp. Watch your back, Gunny. Oscar Company is everywhere. All right, so before we go to the, uh, next checkpoint here and further the mission along, yeah, let's take a look at her, uh, some of her animations in there. Oh no! Oh, Some very angry people. No. <laughs> we'll get them out of the way. Okay, we're good. Um. Yeah, we'll take. Oh, excuse oh, me. Yeah, Hold on. Yeah, yeah. All yeah. right. Well, since there's already some uh, some people here, let's talk briefly about uh, what Braddock's like combat-wise. Sure. So Braddock is our tactical boss killer. So if there's a big baddie you gotta take down, Braddock's your girl. Um, she is approachable, but a little more nuanced than some of our most approachable characters. So. Um, compared to Hollywood and probably hard tack, she requires probably a little more getting used to to understand how to use her most effectively. Um, and she has some interesting directions directions you can push her to with her different gadgets and uh, and progression. Um, and uh, yeah, I, we can just go through her kit. She's got this energy burst fire rifle, um, which has a medium long range. And it's actually the second longest range weapon in our game next to Rama, who's our sniper. So she definitely is more comfortable sitting back a little bit um, and picking off enemies and doing sustained single target damage with this rifle. She, her, for her default special, she modifies, we were mentioning it earlier, she modifies the ammo in her gun so that she shoots these armor piercing rounds that make enemies vulnerable. And you can, and when an enemy is vulnerable, then they take more damage. So you can shoot these at multiple enemies and make multiple enemies vulnerable, but you get the most bang for your buck if you shoot uh, a few of them on one enemy and you, they stack on top of each other. So you pretty much make them into glass that you can just shatter. So that plays really strongly into her boss killing um, play style. And then lastly, she's got this over the top uh, ridiculous, awesome, and very powerful mayhem ability, um, which we can show off. I'll, we could just show it. It's probably better yeah, than me describing well, uh, it, but it's it's pretty pretty kick ass. And yeah, since we 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 kind of got sidetracked with the all these dudes wanting to murder us on the way to the actual <laughs> mission I want to show. Yeah. Uh, here we'll, we'll actually um, 
so we can save it for the actual mission. Sure, there we go. Yeah. We'll just uh, I'll kill everybody with some magic dev commands. There you go. Yeah, I'll turn good about that. Turn some oh, some more. <laughs> yeah. Ah, huh, they're still coming. Look at all these people. <laughs> just making rain from the sky now. Here, let's uh, <laughs> let's get in. Just uh, head on a little away from this. Um, Cause yeah, I also want to be able to uh, focus on our animations before we uh, we really go sure. in. Cause uh, she has some great animations as well. Oh yeah. I mean, everybody probably already saw you know getting in her in the vehicle from the front. She throws a cigar at the screen and mm -hmm. it, it burns the game camera, which is <laughs> my favorite thing. Yeah, it's maybe. awesome. Yeah, where VFX like pulled pulled off some cool stuff with her. Where like a lot of those things weren't necessarily early on, like, on the books as something we were going to do. <laughs> and then as they sort of ratcheted up, like, how crazy we would go with them. Yeah. With that one, when I was like, hey, guys, I want to have her, like, throw that. They are like, sure, let's do it. Yeah. Ah, we have some more story happening here. Come and try it, no pecker. All right, so, uh, yeah, let's briefly uh, pop this up. Uh, so with each agent, we've got the, uh, you know, their entire loadout. So uh, first for, for gadgets, uh, how about you talk about these? Sure, yeah. So as just a brief overview in case people uh, haven't been following the other streams, uh, gadgets, there's all sorts of different ways you can customize the gameplay of our, the agents in our game. So they have these overall themes and play styles, but you can nudge those play styles in some uh, pretty, pretty drastic ways to get to really click with your the, with the play style that you really want. Um, so we have these gadgets that you can swap in and out. Um, she has special gadgets, which replace her special ability. Um, weapon gadgets, which modify her weapon. And then passive gadgets are things that are sort of persistently on her. Um, what's interesting about uh, Braddock's special gadgets is that they're all drastically change. Um, the functionality a lot, and most of our special gadgets are for agents are kind of variations on the same theme, but these kind of completely change the way um, that they that her special operates. So those are those are really interesting. Um, so she has like a rail gun that lets uh, lets you see and shoot enemies through walls, and you can line up enemies too. To like if there's like five enemies in a row, you can just shoot one blast and take them all out. Um, there's a cluster rocket which shoots one one giant sort of energy ball and does a lot of damage and then when it hits it shoots off these like five it puddles off into the like these five smaller energy balls that uh, also deal damage um, and then this is our default special which is these eight uh, armor piercing rounds I was talking about before that makes enemies vulnerable and uh, yeah so the other the other two um, gadgets she had just uh, they make her sort of uh, better at crowd controlling, which um, drastically kind of changes the way she plays. Um, then she's got uh, different weapon gadgets. Uh, this one um, staggers an opponent uh, when uh, she's in fine aim, so that sort of um, leans a little more into her boss killing um, play style. You can stagger bosses, which helps out a lot, and usually when you're in fine aim, you're focusing on a single target. Um, uh, this one increases uh, her rifle damage the more she, uh, 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 like, the longer the burst is held, like, each each round will do more damage. Um, so this is, it, it's, it's best if Braddock maintains um, uh, contact by shooting, by making sure all those uh, bursts hit. So if you want to be, if you're more... Uh, you like being very accurate and not missing at all. That uh, that weapon gadget works well for that. Um, this other one, uh, damage increases 20% while in fine aim. So that one also sort of plays into her uh, single target boss killing play style. Um, because when you're in fine aim, you're usually, like I said, you usually just focus on one, one or two targets. Um, yeah, we can check out our passive gadgets. Um, this one increases her special ability damage. So if you were to pair um, this with her armor piercing rounds, which makes enemies more susceptible to damage, then you can really just tear through um, people with that. Um, this one just 
gives her a chance to drop more uh, more health um, when she critically hits an enemy. So this makes her more durable, so she can stay around longer. Um, and then similarly, she has another one which just increases her max health. So if you want her to, if you find that you're dying too much with Braddock and you want her to stick around a little longer, those are uh, a couple good options. Yeah, so uh, before we jump back into the, the mission here and see some of the story in combat, um, I'm trying to remember if what I equipped already is something that's like a good build for her. So we have like armor sure. piercing rounds, knock around scope. Mm -hmm. So that's stagger yeah. with fine aim, and then 30% uh, bonus to her special ability damage. Yeah, I mean, there's all sort yeah. of play into her boss killing um, play style. So, and especially I think in this mission, there's like so there's a few mini bosses we yes. have that we'll yeah, get totally. to. So those will work well with that. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, let's just jump further in here and see what happens. Oh, right. I should, uh... <laughs> I have dev commands on right now that's making the AI a little passive, so, uh... I had to turn that off. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> should also mention that, like, while I'm playing this, this is set to, like, difficulty level number six, and that, uh... Braddock is completely leveled up, so she's, like, extremely oh, wow. powerful yeah, for this playthrough. Yeah, she's gonna, she's gonna tear through some people. Yeah, like, just, just using the AP rounds is... Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's all it takes. <laughs> and we leveled up. <laughs> that was uh That was that Vasquez. Was, that was yeah. Vasquez, yes. The 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 guy <laughs> she's specifically going for. Oh. Schaefer. Yeah, another washout loser from the core. Well, apparently he's lurking around Seoul. I've pinpointed him for you. Goody goody. <laughs> you don't have to do this. Yes, I do. Why? Because look, you wouldn't understand. You were never military. This again. Steph, we can talk later. Right now I'm on a mission and I gotta see it through. <sighs> on section, uh, Cherise accidentally dropped, so we're gonna... If I can find the right damn mouse, <laughs> good lord. Oh, there you are. Um, also we have a message from our community developer. What's he saying? Ah, yes. Uh, <laughs> So, like, yeah, we were mentioning that, you know, she just has a big knife out at all times here. Um, and I really enjoy the way she moves. It just looks like she's she's just barreling down everything in her way. Like, she's yeah. coming for you, and there's nothing you can do to, like, not get messed up by her. Yeah. Yeah, it's um, that, like, uh, like the that weapon hold. Um, you know, it's like that, uh, you see, like, Rambo does it, mm -hmm. uh, Dutch does it, and Predator, like... That's stuff. the army way to hold a knife, I believe, right? Well, yeah, but uh, the, the gun oh, so. on the, the right hand, oh, okay. right? Like, that, like, we call it, like, one-handed underslung. We weren't really sure, like... It's, it's like, 80s action hero underslung hold a rifle down like this. Usually it would be, like, they'd have, like, a, like a little Uzi or something, but we are like, nah, she's gonna hold a giant gun <laughs> underslung like that just because it'd be sweet. <laughs> Yeah, really. That it was crazy how much just adding that knife in that as well. Just kind of, it just makes, it just makes both hands like you just. There's no getting away from right. Like either far away or up close, you just go. Well, there's no way I can handle her. I can handle her, right? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. And initially, that knife uh, it's used for a melee, and it just was like any other melee and did the same amount of damage. We're like. We need to do something a little more with her because the knife is like it looks so big and and like it would do a lot of damage. So um, she has uh, a a passive ability that's just always on her, where she'll make enemies that she hits with it vulnerable, um, so that she can then you know slash them with the knife, make them vulnerable, and set them up for a rifle to finish them off. Right. Yeah, and then once that we saw it earlier, her she has a wall climb ability. And uh, getting the knife in there too, so that yeah. she uses oh, yeah. that to like scale the wall. Yeah, let me uh, <laughs> let me show that yeah. when I get to an area that doesn't have an overhang. Of no. course, I stop at the area where it's like, oh no, <laughs> uh, wall jumping might be a little more difficult here. Yeah, I'm hitting my head. <laughs> but yeah, she's That's good the other for part of it too, buildings. since she's also not she's not you know as showy as some of our other characters as far as like what would she do when 
she's jumping. Like somebody, like Fortune, it was really easy to figure out, well, what would she do? And so, well, she would flip and spin and do all this stuff, but um, with with Braddock, she isn't, she isn't that sort of out there in her movement, so, uh, you know, I was kind of always contextual. It was, it was like Rambo meets Captain America in, in all the things that she does. So the way that she moves, I really like to think of like, uh, trying to make her feel more grounded. So like, even like when she does like a 180 turn while you're jogging, when she, uh, if you like crank backwards on the stick, she'll like run around and put her hand down on the ground. Um, always trying to like ground her when uh, yeah. she's moving oh, yeah, around. Sweet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, help to really kind of, I think, give her sort of that additional sort of weight and muscle and, and feeling of um, awareness of the world, this which one. I think fit her character really well. Yeah. Video. Oh. Should have joined up. Legion's the best. Believe their benefits package. Medical, dental, vision. They'll even match your 401k up to five hundred dollars a year. Uh, Emmy How Emmy Saints Row gang mentioned story happening. Uh, yeah. Might be. Well, actually it's finished. <laughs> uh, she mentioned her boots. Um, I think those boots are kick ass. Yeah, so, army yeah. boots. And this is a, another ability that uh, is one of her crystal upgrades, I believe. The one that allows her to go faster when she lands a kill. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that one's great, especially if you can land lots of kills. Uh, is it critical kills? Um, yes, I believe it's critical. Yeah. Yeah, you had a legion tech as well that was doing it. Yes. That's why you're hasting Yeah. a lot. Uh, one of the things I like, too, about her is that um, one of her upgrades is that when you swap out, the next character has Fortify. Yep. Um, mm. I really like that that, like, that and some of her passes and things play into that, uh, like, drill sergeant, you know, leave no one behind mentality that, mm -hmm. again, I think helps to also sort of bring that integrity from her, from her personality actually into her gameplay, right? And that having her on your team actually helps your entire team yeah. uh, as opposed to some characters that would you know, be a little bit more focused on themselves. I, I think it's really cool when we can get gameplay to sort of also bridge some of that the narrative personality. Steph. I've tracked Lidecker. Can I just ask, doesn't this feel like a trap? The way he's almost encouraging you? You worry too much. You don't worry enough. Aww. <laughs> But, uh, oh yeah, I suppose we'll uh, take another look. So I did one of her, uh, I believe I did her compliment earlier. Uh, yep. This one. <laughs> which I, I like a lot. Yeah. <laughs> is it the longest compliment animation? I think so. It's pretty yeah, because we'd, we'd kind of thought about, like, that was one where our, our, our actress just sort of did. She was like, you get a bullet, and you get a bullet, you all get a bullet. <laughs> and it was, we didn't have anything specific for it, but we just loved <laughs> The motion she got so into it that we were like, we're gonna find some place for it. So, uh, we'd also had a uh, compliment where she, we actually was on the deploy screen now, where she like brings up the rifle and does like a, a proper uh, yeah, salute yeah. Mm -hmm. if you're holding uh, like a two handed rifle. Um, so, we, we sort of ended up putting that in there so that she could get it here. Yeah, also, uh, we haven't shown her uh, taunt yet either. You miserable little piece of shit. <laughs> I'm trying to remember, let's see if we can get her to say some other things, too. It doesn't say it every time, there's a bit of a cooldown. Oh, okay, uh, that's, that's how it works. I remember for a while you could just spam it, they would say something every time you press the button. Yeah. yeah. But she does have her fidgets I love where she pulls out, This I think this is the one where she does the smoke rings. Yeah, here it comes. Again, VFX just being <laughs> super awesome in oh, everything yeah. that they do. Uh, it was like, hey, can we just get it so that she blows some smoke? And then it was like, Yes. <laughs> yeah. That cigar uh, has some gameplay function too. Right. We'll yes. See later we'll, on. <laughs> we will be showing that in a little bit. Um, yeah, we're actually close to the next objective, so let's see what what happens next here. No. Oh, man. No. Sharice is dropping okay. a lot all the time. Good thing it didn't happen when we were asking her questions, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so Emmy asked if characters sometimes speak or do something special um, when you leave them be when you don't press stick. They all have. Uh, fidgets, you'll have conversations as well that, that they'll say um, randomly with other characters in the game, so 
Yeah. Sometimes just letting your controller go and watching what happens with the character is uh, is a good way to get some extra backstory and feel for him. Well, I think banter also just plays if you're just walking around and stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. See if she does the other fidget I've seen before. Or is this more of the smoke rings? This more of the smoke rings, yeah. Yeah, it is. Smoke rings are cool, though. Yeah, the other one is, again, she just kind of brings it out and flicks, it, flicks the cigar a little bit and then... Right. Puts back in the mouth. Yeah. All right, let's head to this next objective. Objective, then. <laughs> Words. Yeah, so this is... I think that now is probably a good time to show off her mayhem move. Yeah. <laughs> the tutorial for it. Heard about your boys? They died doing what they loved, trying to kill you. Same way you're gonna die. Jeez, I hope not. I've always dreamed I'd die by chocolate. What? Oh, I imagined one day I'd eat a whole bag of Baker's chocolate all by myself. Then after an intense bout of nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea, I'd die of theobromine poisoning. Well, good luck with that. All right. So, got a cup. Whoop. I've been able to land that jump before in that tiny ridge. <laughs> My gaming skills are not here today. All right, so uh, let's see if they'll follow me up here. There's a little bit more room to show off this thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, so here's her mayhem. It's going to be a little overkill. <laughs> On two people, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, you mentioned her cigar. She so, lights uh, it with the butt of her rifle. And if we throw it. <laughs> oh, you got upgraded, too. Yeah. <laughs> Wrecked. Yeah, so basically it just, wherever you throw that cigar, <laughs> a radius will form around it, and anyone caught within that radius will be targeted by this orbital laser strike from above. Um, and it's, it's probably, probably the most powerful mayhem in the game. And you can, you can lean into that more, too, with uh, customizing our gameplay. Like, you can upgrade that as you have it. it. Normally, they're like these smaller lasers, but you've got these, like, apocalypse lasers going on. And um, you can you can up the, the amount of damage they do, too. So you can make that really just clear an entire battlefield if you want to. Yeah. So that reminds me, you should check out some of the other specials. Yeah, here. definitely. Actually, this is a good area to show off the rail gun, I think. Sure. What I think you have one, one enemy left, but yeah, why not? <laughs> Let's see. Uh... So yeah, the rail gun. You can see enemies through walls. Let's see if I can get them. She's moving kind of fast. There you go. Nice. Shot through a wall. <laughs> Here's Light Actor. Oh, that's Light Actor. Oh, I'm stuck. So that's pretty unique. Oh, damn. Nice. Whoops. Ah! Yeah? Why's that? The whole place is rigged to explode. See, the timers were connected to your old recruits' bio signals. Now that they're dead, those bombs are just taking away. By my estimate, you've got just a few minutes before KW goes boom. Since maybe if you weren't so bloodthirsty, KW and his many employees would be safe right now. But if you hadn't rigged, you know what? Forget it. I'm about to rain on your little fireworks show, Hauser. Janelle, don't! It's suicide! Steph, I molded these men. I have a part in this. Now I gotta undo what they done. Can you understand? Janelle? Be safe. If you wanted safe, you would have taken up with Debbie and Legal. <laughs> so yeah, Matt, you wrote these missions, right? Yes, I did. Yeah. What was it like writing... It's, it's, I have a hard time writing, like, wrapping my head around how it's even possible to, like, write things and, like, stay consistent and, like, it, it's, like, the same kind of, like, issue where it's, like, how do I know if the game I'm making is, like, fun? What is fun? It's, like, what is good writing? It's, like, it just sounds really hard and, like, a vague thing to grasp for. Well, the original drafts, we sort of tiptoed around the relationship until the very end. Mm. And so like at the end of the uh, personal mission, that was the reveal of the relationship. But then we sort of rethought it and decided, look, you know, we're gonna start out and the relationship is sort of established. Um, 
it's kind of the worst kept secret in me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I remember when those changes started to be like more visible, and I was like, oh, yeah, that's interesting. But, but definitely kind of starting off and like having it already established allowed Friday and Brack to have a lot more of these kind of tender emotional moments. And, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, you're I don't doing know. Great. It feels very genuine. Yeah. Especially because of the fine vocal performances. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I also love that they that they use their first names, Janelle and yeah, Steph, yeah, Janelle yeah. as opposed yeah. to their agent names. It's such a nice it's little touch cute. that just comes through so well. I like how the chat's talking about Debbie and legal. <laughs> <laughs> that was it's the like, thing. Like, that's what they take away from that. They're like, who is Debbie? <laughs> you have to wait for the sequel for Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be the final boss. Yeah. <laughs> for their for their team mission. She just sues them. All right, let's disarm some bombs. Yeah. Ah, ran out. <laughs> what a shame. <laughs> I really like shooting people through walls. It's fun. No other agent I, can do that. I always enjoy when you get some kind of like ability in a game where it's like, no, it's okay to do this, and you're like, are you sure? It feels like cheating. Yeah. <laughs> but then the game's like, no, to just go for do it. that. Uh, let's actually switch to, well, there's a sniper over there, so I guess AP rounds would be the best. Yeah, cluster rocket, probably yeah. not great. Um, let's see. Oh, this is a good one for sniping too, I guess, right? The, just the... Sure, yeah. Weapon damage increases in fine aim. Yeah, that one works. Um, I think this one's still like the best for, for what I'm, I'm looking for here, yeah. so. Um, <laughs> let's see if I can, can I reach her? This might be just. Not quite. Yeah. She's medium long range, but right. not quite that long. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Taking it out. Sure. I'm done. <laughs> done with that part. All right, let's get to these other ones real quick. Yeah, you're running out of time. Yeah, I was having uh, too much fun shooting people through walls, so whoops. Okay, I could probably make up time just by the fact that my Braddock's extremely so powerful. Right now, yeah. <laughs> Whoop. Okay, next. One more. Okay, I have a minute 20. Go, go, go. Almost. I'm gonna guess I'm probably, yeah, probably gonna get ambushed. So yeah, we'll, we'll show off the cluster rockets yeah, here as well. Uh, Cause they're, they're also pretty, I like these ones a lot. They're really fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even need the second round of them. Nah. Steph, this isn't over. I know. So, I guess we just take it one day at a time? One day at a time. <laughs> yeah, so that's her, that's her uh, unlock mission. Uh, we still have... Uh, it's actually five, but we can... If we just go, because we've shown what Braddock is like now, we can, we can go through her other mission fairly quickly. Yeah. Um, we just want to go through it. Don't take too much time. Yeah. Um, Sharice, what was it like uh, seeing that? That was so cool. Yeah. <laughs> I love, I love all of the weaponry that she gets to have that supports her being an actual badass. Yeah. And I, I can't remember what it was, but her, you called it her mayhem with the laser came <laughs> yep. from above. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. I love that. I love that she she's the only player that has that. Uh, that really, yep. Agent? Yep, yep. That's that's for her. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. And I like that knife too. The knife yeah. is awesome. The knife's pretty yeah. great. So. Uh, <laughs> the cigar. That's a really nice touch. Mm -hmm. 
Thanks, and Leah. just and the way she moves, I love the way she moves, and I love the way she stands with at attention when she stops yeah. mm-hmm. with an arm behind her, yeah. just ready. <laughs> She's my posture idol. <laughs> <laughs> whenever, whenever I see her, I sit up in my seat a little bit. Yeah, better. like as well you should. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yes. Yeah, I'm like. I, uh, go ahead. I was I was just gonna say I'm one of those people that's very guilty of just sitting like this all the time, especially just like. You know, when you had a computer yeah, a yeah. lot, and it's just like this couch isn't helping. It's like <laughs> sucking me <laughs> some to a ball. <laughs> some inspiration here with <laughs> with Braddock. Um, I actually have to jump off and head to an mm-hmm. appointment. Is there mm-hmm. any last question um, that you guys wanted to ask me before I head off? I haven't seen any come up in the chat in the past few minutes, at least. I've got okay. a question. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you're talking about how Braddock is like much different from your own personality and you had to channel like this like inner badass like do you take any of that away from you into your own life like do you feel like you yourself have become a little bit more of a badass like i'm wondering as an as an actor if that's something that happens you know what i shouldn't i shouldn't downplay my own personal badass sure (laughs) (laughs) but i think What's probably more accurate for me is that Braddock calls on my own personal badass to come through. Okay. um, Unfiltered. Yeah. (laughs) You know, because when you live in the world, you can't tell people off in the way that you may want to tell them (laughs) off. Or you can't do certain things because they're illegal. Um, (laughs) And and also just because they're, it's it's not in good form, it's not nice. but what Braddock allows me to be able to do, and I think this is true for many actors with characters uh, that may be a departure from them and how they carry themselves in real life, mm-hmm. is that she calls on those things in me that are that are hers, you know? And I, I do believe, and as an actor, you know this, like, Everyone is capable of everything when it comes mm-hmm. down to it. We're mm-hmm. all human beings. Yeah. Um, if we were in a particular situation or a particular scenario, if we led a certain life, we too may do the thing that this other person is doing. Sure. Right. Um, whether that's great, cool, bad, ugly, awful, you know? Yeah. And so in another world, I could have been Brad. In another world, in another world. But she definitely asked me to be like, all right, inner badass, it's time to play. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. So it was fun. It was fun. Awesome answer. Yeah, thanks. Mm -hmm. Uh, And there there was one thing from the chat, not a question, but uh, Flippy says uh, that I should tell you that you're awesome. (laughs) So there you go. Yeah. I appreciate it. Um, well, thanks for including me in on this on this uh, stream. I had a good time. Yeah, thanks yeah, for being on. Yeah, thanks for you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Yeah, wonderful to meet you all too. And have fun in the next mission. Are you doing one more? Yeah, we're doing more? doing one more. So probably like another fifteen minutes or so. So. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, have fun. Yeah. yeah thanks. thanks for being. Thanks for being on. Bye. Bye. Yeah, bye. Bye. <laughs> all right. That was Sharice. Yeah, she's so she's, cool. She's yeah. really cool, actually. Yeah. Man. All the voice actors are really cool, know, but like I'm, I'm always cool like surprised people. by how cool they are. I know, because it's like, you know, I'm just video editor. I haven't met voice actors before, so I'm always a little intimidated. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh no, they're actually all like really cool. Uh, but yeah, before we uh, wrap this stream up, we're gonna play uh, Braddock's personal mission, uh, and then we'll take a look at some bugs. Real cool. Quick. So uh, yeah, let's see. Just check out the story here too. Let's do it. This one has some really good lines in it. It's me again, Gunny. How's that? You pooped my party, Gunny. Now it's personal. Let's do this. Mono, uh, well, Mono. Janelle, I have his position. Thanks, Steph. I remember all the little nicknames you had for me during training. Slapnuts. Spunk Bubble. Clown Dick. (laughs) (laughs) Yup, sounds like me. Words do hurt. Far more than anything in the Crucible. I'm sorry. Did I bruise your feelings? Yes. Yes, you did. 
quite a bit, actually. Well, suck it up, Buttercup. No wonder you joined Legion. You would never fit for the core. Ooh, you're a tough cookie, ain't ya? Daisy, what are you doing on this frequency? I don't know. Sometimes I get bored, and I like to listen in on what else is happening in Mayhem Land. Well, get off. I'm in the middle of something. So these enemies are actually... Uh, calibrated to your agent level. Yes. So you, They're significantly can, tougher than the previous mission. Yeah, because all unlock missions expect you to have a level zero or one agent, which you had level 20, so... Uh, yeah, level 20, technically like level 40, 40 yeah. based on the, the extra stats I have gotten. Mm -hmm. What, uh, getting Daisy in this mission, Matt, how did that... What was the idea? How did that come about? Well... I felt like someone needed to comment on the clown dick insult. Uh, <laughs> ah, yes. And, and she'll offer further insight. But I actually spent like half a day on, uh, like, on Reddit and on sort of military forums. And I was actually looking to see <laughs> what people who actually went to boot camp, what their drill instructors, what sort of insults were holding oh, them. Wow. And that's actually where Clown Dick came from. Really? That's a real <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I didn't a come real up insult. with Clown Dick. Somebody in the military so, yeah, really said Clown Dick. Someone in the military was called now Clown Dick. That's why they use going to be like, they're going to claim the yeah. Yeah. You just yeah, we have to close moment. down the doors of volition because <laughs> Because right. of clown dick. Here's Hauser. I'm gonna come down on you like 20 gallons of liquid shit. That's what Sharice said for us. Yep. So good. It's a, it's a great line read. I feel like I need to change up my loadout here for what's happening. I yeah. think I really need the AP, AP rounds. AP rounds will when, do well. When they're, these guys are so strong, like I really need to weaken them a bit. Mm -hmm. Then maybe... Um, that one would work well. Yeah. Honestly, I, either of these would work well. Any yeah. Of those. Then, because I am getting hit. Like, if I didn't have Never Die on or God Mode activated right now, I would yeah. have died earlier. You once. can make it more durable. You can That's upper, true. upper health. Yeah, max health. Bump and, it up. And have you spent your upgrade points? Uh, oh, yeah. Let's actually talk about upgrade points oh, yeah, real quick. Sure. Um, yeah, these are just points you can you can put into your agents to uh, modify them in, in different ways uh, that that gadgets and, and Legion Tech doesn't do, um, and uh, they're modular, so you can uh, you know have some of one and some of another. And what's cool about this too is that at any time you can reset them all and then assign them how you wish. Um, so you're not committed to uh, one investment um, permanently. So right now it doesn't really matter because you got them all maxed yeah, out. Yeah, they're all maxed out. So which would in game, if you actually max this out, it would take a decent amount of effort yeah. to get up to this. Yeah, but for the most part, you're gauging where you want to spend these points. Um, so we've got one that just increases, uh, that does a bonus experience, one that does fine aim damage, another one that, that does um, uh, health regen when you're out of combat. Um, and then this one gives her extra damage for her mayhem ability. Yeah, a hundred percent, man. Yeah, and I love that uh, that her group passive is that it gives everyone else XP. Like again, just feeds in perfectly to that. Like yeah. drill and sucker having it on your team is just gonna like level up everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah so cool. Um, and then real quick too, we have these core upgrades. Core upgrades too, yeah, of course. Yeah, so these are these are permanent um, things that you'll purchase. Uh, for agents, and each agent has three of them, and they are a little more dramatic, um, usually. Uh, they change the character a little more drastically. Um, so for Braddock, we've got one that gives her fortify if she's um, surrounded by a few enemies. Um, she's got another one. Uh, so this one is when uh, she swaps in and out. Um, uh, the swap to agent will get will become fortified and empowered, which means they'll deal more damage and they'll be able to take more hits. Um, and then this one upgrades her mayhem lasers so that they're these giant, they go from these like smaller lasers to these giant ones uh, that will just annihilate people. And that's what, and we have all these right now. Yeah. So, yeah, oh no, actually we should mention real quick too. Uh, so we've talked about uh, Legion Tech in the past, which are um, 
you know, things you can craft further into the game. Yep. And you can slot them like this elite tech bad mother. Mm -hmm. uh, you can slot them into your gadgets to add additional effects. And, like, I believe I equipped one... Uh, I'm thinking I may have equipped one Special that... Special counts by 50%. Oh, yeah. no, okay. So it's not... It's on one of these right now. Um, Which one are you looking for? I'm looking for the one that alters her mayhem even more. Mm, yeah. Uh... I'm trying to remember which one it is. I forget which one I equipped it to. Additional mayhem? Ah. Yeah. A artillery upgrade on the, on the oh, cluster nice, rocket. Nice, yeah. So that her mayhem now has three extra lasers before it's done. Yeah, she's got a few different ways that she can just totally crank that mayhem ability up to 11. Yeah. So yeah, there's all sorts of, there's just a multitude of ways that you can adjust the, customize the gameplay for these agents. Um, I think people, I think gamers will really like that. Yeah. It really allows you to push them uh, into a, a kit you want. Okay, here's Hauser. In my experience, clowns just got regular, normal person dicks. Thanks, Daisy. I'll, uh, file that away for next time. Now go on and get I'm a really big fan of the clown dick exchange. Yeah, like, at, it's a great line. When I first played this mission for, for, for the first time the voice acting was in, I was like, okay, clown dick's a little funny. But then there's like people were like thinking about clown dicks afterwards and considering what that means yeah. and what even differs from a normal dick and a yeah. clown dick. <laughs> it's, do you feel like your career has now peaked that you'll never write anything as good as the clown dick exchange? <sighs> you know... I did work on Leisure Suit Larry Magnum Come Out, so... <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I had a lot of experience. So. <laughs> Not necessarily writing about clown dicks. But, but everything was sort of building yeah, to this moment, right? Dick and fart jokes, yeah. so yeah, yeah, I'm just building on this that legacy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh. <laughs> There's a message not pertaining to the stream. <laughs> but uh, anyways, here's some more, uh, some more dialogue. Must have pulled some seriously sadistic shit in boot camp. Nah, you know, it was just normal everyday sadistic shit. Ah, I wanted to melee him, so I may. Have... You can stun enemies that drop their grenades sometimes. Yeah. If I remember correctly. Yep. Uh, so I was trying to knife this guy. Ah, too late. <laughs> the the knife can stagger him. Sometimes I've noticed. Yep. Usually will. See if I can get all these. Whoa! Okay, we'll take her out first, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's it's pretty good. Yep. <laughs> all right. Let's see if we can round these people up and get them with some more lasers. Hey, you've got a lot of rounds of those because you got that upgrade. Yeah. I mean, even if I drop it here, it'll probably hit the top of the building where one or two people are at too. Let's let's give it a shot here. <laughs> nice. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. Hide under the awnings. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna help. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, that worked out yeah, pretty, pretty well. That, that was pretty good. I'm I'm almost curious if like the are the lasers truly random where they shoot in that nope, area? Nope, nope, they'll lock on enemies. Okay, they lock on enemies. Yeah, they Because I've always felt that, like, oh, man, it'd be really cool if, like, these guys, like, spread apart all got hit, and they mm -hmm. almost always do. So I was wondering if they did lock on. Yeah, they do. That's, okay, that's nice, actually. I, I, I suppose that does make sense to do, because it would... Oh. I could detect a goat-smelling ass anywhere, Hauser. Because it, it, I guess it would suck if you could accidentally waste it. Yeah, it'd be a bit of a feel bad. Uh, sorry, gotta be moving on. Get back here, you pansy ass titty baby. Right. All right. Hey, Gunny, 
Remember when you had me stand on top of my footlocker and sing, I'm a little teapot? Ha! <laughs> yeah, I did do that, didn't I? That used to be my favorite song of all time, and you ruined it forever! Bullshit. Nobody's favorite song is I'm a little teapot. Not anymore. <laughs> is that what this is about? No. Well, part. It's also about the time you made me set honey bun out another tree. See? I knew you did some sadistic shit. Who was that? It was a test, Daisy. I told him I wanted the latrine so clean he could eat a honey bun out of it. Still, gross. Daisy? Who's Daisy? Daisy, would you kindly of please get off this frequency? Yeah. This is between me and Cuddy. Got it? Sorry. <laughs> Freddy apologizes to the people. <laughs> to the villain. <laughs> yeah, just notice that. Okay, come on, mini boss man. Take him out. There we go. He's a veteran. Uh, oh, also, something we didn't point out with the animations, I just re noticed is uh, specifically her third jump, mm -hmm. the way she spins that yeah. giant rifle. Yeah, she spins the rifle, and, and in combat, she'll spin the knife too. It's a little bit harder to see because it's kind of far in dark, but. Right. Uh, yeah, and that always trying to make the third one feel like the. like that climactic. A uh, good thing for her. It was really like, oh, what, what, what would she do? And uh, the right. racial spin just sort of came out and said, "Ah, oh, right." Without being too ridiculously showy. Oh, check out the VR pads. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> They're just in the in the zone. <laughs> yeah, they don't they don't react unless they uh, unless they get hit. Uh, yeah, because they're, they're, they're jacked in. World, in. Oh, oh no, they're VR zone. One guy died, but the other... Okay. Oh, no, oh, the no. killed Oh, no, the VR people! No. Legion Damn is so you, evil. Legion! That one was swimming, and the other one was doing something very suggestive. <laughs> you Churning ruined butter. it for him. You Churning won't butter. believe how Churning insane... Churning butter, yeah. That's you won't believe how insane Farming Simulator in VR is. Yeah. <laughs> right? Exactly. It's too real. Ugh. Those poor pets. <laughs> well... They fought the good fight. Yeah. We're living the life. VR life. Come here. That's the best you got, you I'm a little team, hot, short, and stout. Here is my rifle to take you out. <laughs> oh, come on. You ain't so tough. Okay, one more mayhem, just for the hell of it. Yeah. Awesome yeah, the drum, the drum chorus. Janelle, you all right? Yeah. I. You think maybe I went too far? I mean, back then with Oscar Company. I think you did what was asked of you at the time. I also think you're a different person now that you're with Mayhem. What do you mean? Softer? Maybe. But not too soft. Never. Yeah, and that's Brad's yeah, personal yeah. mission. It's uh, a nice mission. So yeah, for so, some people have been have been asking, and we haven't said listened to too many of them yet. But it's like, oh yeah, we do have some characters that you know are in like gay relationships and stuff. So it's like, there you go. There's one of them. Yep. Uh, yeah. Uh, Braddock and Persephone, or not Persephone? Excuse me. Oh no, Friday. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> That ain't right. That's not what's happening. No, it's uh, Braddock and Friday. Yep. <laughs> Braday. <laughs> You've been oh, shipped. Friday. I love it. Braday. <laughs> Braday. Not Frydock? Frydock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if I'm a that's fan like, of that that's one. Like, that sounds like the name of like a, a place where you can get like fish fries every Fry Dock. Oh, <laughs> man. We're going to go down to the Frydock. And, oh, and it has shit. like drive through for yeah. sure. <laughs> Look how marine-themed. Uh, yeah. Burgers and fries. <laughs> My dog. Oh man, man. I like that mission a lot. Yeah, I like that. I, I I just really like that mission has a lot of really good like lines yeah. in it. It's got some depth to it. Yeah. yeah. Good personality all around. You see, like the, yeah. the personality of all the characters comes through really really well in the writing. And yeah. everything. I'm, I'm also just a big fan of like 
Thanks, guys. <laughs> I'm a big fan of like Daisy just showing up for a couple lines. Yeah, too. yeah, like, say her piece. It's it's, it's she, yeah. like she's totally the one who would just drop in because she's bored. Yeah. yeah. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> hey. Finally, finally got through her hangover, and now she's just like, well, what am I else am I supposed to do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not the active she, agent right she now. She seem so. to have a whole lot of direction. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, I hate to do this, but I got a bounce. That's okay. Understandable, because we're yeah. at like five, almost yeah. 5.30. It's my wife's birthday. Oh, oh wow. Yes. Happy birthday if, to her. If my wife is watching, happy birthday. Oh. 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 <laughs> All right. All right. Well, thank you. And thanks, yeah. everybody, for tuning in. Yeah, thanks for being on, man. Mm. You uh, you do the bugs. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, we got a couple of good See bugs. See you, man. Later. All right. So, uh, we'll switch. Spread right out, man. Oh, yeah, we can. We got a lot of room in the couch now. Stay, just like you're going to stay back there. Oh, right man. Your head. It's not my too often back. we get a stream where we get this much room in the couch. <laughs> Hell, yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah, let's... The thumbnail's already real good for this one. No, 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 this one. Yeah, not all these bugs are specifically Braddock related, but most of them are. So, uh, yeah, let's just, uh, this is actually an animated GIF somebody took. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody made their profile in the internet. That's right, yeah. yeah I always see it popping up whenever they can. Even before I hit play, you know. Yeah, this one, this one is like extra painful. I think this is like one of those points where we were, you know, try and like to get stuff done. There's a big deadline, and then something like, you know, all this stuff <laughs> this usually just like happens. something didn't retarget. Bones got out of place, and yeah, and it was just like, oh, my. and then I think we've got like an internal gallery where you're supposed to post cool stuff. Yeah, and somebody was like, look at this funny thing, and they posted that instead. And we were just like, no, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> this one's it's funny now. At the time, Looking there was like, please quick. never let's not look at this ever again. <laughs> this is... Oh man, uh, what's next? <laughs> Oh, right. Oh, this is amazing. This yeah, car just it. humps this other car. It, It's really incredible how the car really keeps... <laughs> really tries to keep going back. Spent. And then falls on its back and explodes. <laughs> <laughs> what a perfect amount of timing for it to blow up, too. Like, it just gave up. and didn't know what else to do but blow yeah. up. Oh, man. It couldn't take the rejection. <laughs> yeah, this is a... Uh, one of our one of the oh, doomsday weapons that oh, appears, man. except uh, uh, how's the game not crash? I don't know. It is kind of impressive. That's the impressive. game didn't crash, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, holy moly! Lighting, lighting is cursing us right now for showing this. Yeah. <laughs> I just play what I'm Jeez. given. Jeez. Uh, it's a strobe light setting. Yeah, th this one is also pretty good. What? <laughs> <laughs> this is Rocket League. What the heck? <laughs> this is sweet. Yeah, I, I never personally encountered this one in the game. And I yeah, feel like no, I've encountered... never seen this. This is, a, this is amazing. This is fantastic. Yeah, I feel like I've encountered a lot <laughs> of the bugs to space. that I've seen. Go all the way. Oh. I wonder if boosting does anything. Oh, no, what happened? Yeah, I really do want to know what boosting does there now. Maybe they did try to boost and the car just blew up. Yeah. <laughs> Probably nothing. I don't think boosting affects anything. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. She's, you know, she's doing like a single person wave. Yeah. Inside a car. <laughs> I was expecting all the other cars to start doing it. And... <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh God. God. I like this one a lot, too. They got kind of banged up in the field, I guess. Yeah. Oh. They're still ready to go, though. <laughs> Nothing's going to stop these there. people. Oh. Mad men and mad women. They just wiggle oh. forward. This is amazing. This is not a oh, bug. Oh, this is sweet. This is, I've this seen is, this. Yeah, this, this is, is just... so cool. This is just rad. I've tried to do this for footage I've captured for our trailers. Q, our fucking QA, man. Yeah. There's just some pros. Check this shit out. Perfectly timed. Nice. <laughs> wow. So they called their car when they are at the top, and the car is coming to the pickup spot at the bottom, and they jump at the... Exact place. Yeah. At the exact I, right like, time. Like I've captured stuff for. Let's let's play this one more time. Actually. It's so good. Uh, I've you know I've captured footage either for internal stuff or for some of the banks that play in the game mm. or uh, you know some shots and some of the trailers that come out are, are stuff I've captured and mm. like the first trailer we put out this year for AOM I was trying real hard to make this happen but oh, I did yeah. not get a good shot of it. <laughs> it was specifically with Braddock too. I was trying oh, yeah. to use Braddock because it's yeah. just her her animations yeah. like really cool. Yeah. But yeah. 
too tough. <laughs> those, those are some pretty cool bugs. We got some pretty rad ones this time around. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's Braddock. Uh, I I really like her. I really like like there, like there's some agents where like I really like the character, but gameplay not as hot on them. Like mm. they're just not my style. But sure. like hers, it's like okay, she's pretty cool. I like her voice actress a lot and like what she does but also like gameplay wise she's like it's one of nice my favorites when you, when you like yeah. both of them yeah yeah, yeah. makes like, it an easy choice yeah like gameplay wise it's just oh she's so good when you snipe with her with the armor piercing rounds that's like the yeah. number one reason why i use her is because of the the those capabilities they're powerful for sure yeah, yeah. Um, it, it was cool seeing like for the longest time there was a lot of people were kind of like i don't know she just doesn't like you see her original concept art, and mm -hmm. people are like, she doesn't seem as as sort of ridiculous and over the top as some of the other characters. Right. Mm -hmm. And it was always like, no, 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 she's she's awesome. Just trust she us. She's awesome. She's awesome. And and this was definitely a case of where you see all of these little things that come in that just help to just build up to finally you're like, okay, wow, yeah, she's she's yeah. there. And you yeah. don't necessarily get it until all of the stuff sort of slots in yeah. just the way it needs to. No, she yeah. fills a space that we needed. Design wise and personality wise, so mm -hmm. she's important. Yeah, yeah that's Braddock. Uh, she's a pretty fun one to show off. Mm -hmm. uh, every week we're we're streaming. Every Thursday, uh, always showing something new from AOM. For the most part, uh, uh, we're showing off. You know, each week, different agent, how they work, what their story is like, what char their characters like. We get the voice actors on, uh, just like this week. So. Uh, if you've missed out on any of those, you can check those uh, previous streams out on our YouTube page, which is youtube.com slash volitiontube. Um, these streams usually get put out, like, you know, the Wednesday following the stream, so almost a week after we, we do the stream. Um, and, yeah, we stream every week, Thursdays, uh, 5 Eastern, 2 p.m. Pacific, 22 GMT. Uh, and we're we're going all the way till launch, which AOM comes out August 15th, so that's... Save the date. Surprisingly soon. It's happening. Yeah. It's, it's, it's happening, happening, man. Holy crap. Finally. Um, and if you want to follow us on social media and, you know, see what we're up to there, because, you know, we'll post trailers there when, you know, when they're out and all that, uh, we are uh, at AOM the Game on Twitter, AOMthegame.com for our website, and also AOM the Game on Facebook. Um, and, yeah, just check that stuff out. Uh, I don't know. Just come back, see us next week. See some new cool stuff, uh, more bugs, talking to more uh, voice actors, which is like my favorite part. More Debbie from Legal Lore. <laughs> <laughs> more Debbie from Legal Lore. This is uh, Matrix in the chat. People are hoping they're gonna, that character's Ma gonna be really like, she got Debbie from Legal got mentioned once, and everyone was like, yeah. who is Debbie from Legal? I gotta know. She's gonna have the most extensive fanfic on the on yeah. any of the wikis. Yeah. It's oh, gonna man. be. Don't don't let us down, Twitch <laughs> yeah, chat. Yeah, we. I want to know the stories that happen for Debbie from Legal. <laughs> where did she get? Where did she get her, own, she get she her, get her degree? Yeah, uh, she put herself through school. Totally, like all of it. Just go. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Like a lawyer game. Yeah, just for her. What type of pet oh, does man. she have? <laughs> What's her favorite cereal? I mean, that, it's just. Does she like Ace Attorney? Does she think yeah, it's like exactly. you know, like make an Ace Attorney style game for her? Yeah, totally. Objection. <laughs> Got to yell into the DS mic. <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah, uh, thanks for coming, everybody. Uh, we had uh, Mike Watson, our community developer, writing the chat today. Uh, I'm Josh Stinson, the video editor and stream host here. On the couch, we have left. James Katzian, systems designer. And I'm Mike Jungluth, lead animator. Uh, and then we had Matt Enton, one of our senior writers here. Yep. And then we had Sharice uh, uh, Booth, the voice actress for Braddock who was super rad to talk to. She was awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was great. She did some great uh, some great line reads over Skype today. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we will see you next week with some red card. Red card. That's nice. another one I'm, I'm into showing off. So, yeah, come back next week. See you with some red card. Later, guys. Bye. See ya.